Actress Wendy Malick is known for starring in comedies like Hot in Cleveland and Just Shoot Me. She's a new movie out called 7,000 Miles. She doesn't know how good you fly? It's complicated. People don't want to fly with a girl. If women waited for the right time, nothing would ever change. And there's a pilot like you. Yeah. She swears she was in a plane crash. The movie follows a female pilot who is inspired by her grandmother's mysterious legacy. The world premiere is tomorrow at the TCL Chinese Theater in Hollywood. And joining us now live is actress Wendy Malick. Congratulations on the new film. Thank you, Alex, with an E. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy with an IE. Nice to talk with you. I've uh, been a big fan of you for a while. I love Just Shoot Me, love Hot in Cleveland, and excited to see this movie. Um, and, and there seems like there's a real strong message about female empowerment uh, with this, and, and like an all-female production team on this. Uh, can, can you tell us like what the message you want to get a, across with this is? Well, I, I think it's just uh, celebrating strong women who uh, kind of defy the odds. And this whole team that was put together by our director, Amy Glazer, uh, it was pretty much all women with the exception of Jim Orr, our fabulous DP, and a couple of men who we allowed to enter the set. <laughs> but the rest of it was all women and about some very strong women, a young woman goes back to Hawaii uh, after her grandfather dies and her grandmother, which is what I play, Melly um, is starting to to show signs of Louis body dementia. So she's old, old uh, memories are coming back and it slowly is sort of, as her granddaughter connects the dots, it absolutely could be possible that this may be Amelia Earhart. We don't know. And it's sort of left up in the air until the end of the film. She may just be having delusions of grandeur, but um, a, lo a lot of things are kind of, are kind of uh, pointing to the fact that this actually could have been her. Obviously, we've all heard about uh, Amelia Earhart for years, but I assume that you did a lot of research about her for this role. D did it make you think differently about Amelia Earhart or anything especially interesting you learned while making this? Well, I, I think people have been so fascinated by her because they've never found her body. So there are so many, so many theories about what could have happened, and it's possible that she could have survived if she had been rescued. And um, what I found intriguing was she was so passionate about flying, but she really didn't love the celebrity. She didn't like the attention. It was her husband who was a, a real good marketer who wanted her out there, and that was how she could afford to to do all of these flights. Um, but she really didn't like that part of it. She was a poet. She was uh, very strong-willed and opinionated and probably not easy to get along with. Uh, but she was, uh, she was a real groundbreaker. Yeah, what an amazing uh, figure she was. And, and what an amazing career you've had. You're having another moment this year. I, I got to give, I, I love the show Shrinking, which is on Apple TV Plus. And you are in that show playing the love interest of Harrison Ford, who we're, we're looking at right there. I mean, did you ever, like, have a crush on Indiana Jones or Han Solo? And, like, what's it like <laughs> to be actually, in that sort of I situation? A, I met with, I mean, this is a million years ago, but I met with George Lucas and Steven Spielberg when they were casting that film for the, for the role of Grace. Uh, Stephen had seen some Excedrin commercial I did and had me come in and just meet with them. Uh, obviously, I didn't get it, which <laughs> pissed me off, but what can you do? Uh, but eventually, it only took, what, 50 years, 40 years or something to finally get to work with him. And he's delightful. He was so much fun. And that's what you want when you're supposed to have great chemistry with someone is uh, to be able to, to go up against... A, a, re a really great sense of humor, a great person to hang out with, and very generous and uh, delightful. Yeah, the acting is, is really terrific, and the writing so great as well. Brett Goldstein, who a lot of people know is Roy Kent from Ted Lasso. Uh, he one is of the hilarious. He's he yeah. an amazing stand-up comedian. He's yeah. very funny. I, I saw, saw his, the, I saw his stand up a couple months ago. It was really fun. Um, so yeah. watch Shrinking on Apple TV+. Plus. And again, that movie, 7,000 Miles, its world premiere tomorrow night in the heart of Hollywood.